Hi everyone and welcome to Hearts War and 4 Death or Dishonor. So, Death or Dishonor is the newest DLC coming out on June the 14th. And we are going to play as Czechoslovakia. And out of all the nations Death or Dishonor is centered around, which are Yugoslavia, Romania, Hungary, Czechoslovakia. Czechoslovakia is probably the hardest one. Especially if you don't go Axis, because if you don't go Axis, it's quite possible to be 90% surrounded by the Axis. Because Germany can attack Poland, they can invade Austria, Hungary will often join the Axis, and then you are 90% surrounded by the Axis. With the exception of a very small border with Romania. But we'll give it a shot. Let's get started. And speaking of our options as Czechoslovakia, I think the best way to survive is to go fascist and then go for the German partner focus. That's one of the options that you have. You need at least 250k manpower in divisions in the field. You start with 143k. So we need around 100k extra. Which shouldn't be too hard. The other option is to be a satellite, which is obviously subpar. It has slightly smaller manpower requirement, only 200k. But 250k should be doable. So I think that's what we'll do. There are also some other decisions that are interesting, like Antant of our own. You can invite Yugoslavia, you can invite Romania. And you can then actually annex Hungary and Bulgaria. So that's something to consider as well. But we will start from industry, because that just makes the most sense. There are actually two different options for industrial focuses. We got Czech industry and Czechoslovak industry. But I think we'll go for Czech industry. That will give us more civilian factories in slightly different regions. But that doesn't make a big difference if we go fascist. And I do think that's what we'll do. Anyway, first of all, industrial legacy. And we can maybe build another civilian factory or two, but not too many. Yeah, let's build one. And then we'll go full military factories, I think. We got 16. So that's probably going to be enough. And let's get started on production. So one of the nice things about Czechoslovakia is that we have quite a lot of steel. If we turn on resource map mode, you can see that we have how much exactly? 26... Yeah, we have a lot. We have like 40 steel. So that's certainly nice for our production. We also have a little bit of oil. Not nearly as much as Romania, <laughs> but Romania is Romania. And we also have a little bit of tungsten. So that's not too bad. It will be useful for our production. Let's add some artillery right away. We are definitely going to need that. And I think we should focus on artillery. How much industry or how much infantry equipment do we have right now? Let's have a look. 13,000 out of 18 required. Okay, then. And how are the divisions? This is our default division right now. It's not amazing. Doesn't have a single support battalion. We should probably add Recon Company. Once we get the army experience for it. Speaking of army experience, let's just create the army right away. And we can also check our generals. We got a field marshal with plus 10% maximum planning and plus 30% maximum entrenchment. That's not too bad. And also a field marshal with plus 10% planning speed and minus 10% on combat width. Yeah, I like that. All right then. So, I'm not quite sure what our plan is going to be initially. But for now, we are just going to do some training. We can set up on the front line with Poland or whatever. And we'll start exercising. 
And we also need to start some research. So obviously industrial techs. And construction one. And we'll also start some land doctrines. Probably superior firepower. We could go for mass assault or grand battle plan, but honestly, I preferred superior firepower most of the time. So I think that's what we'll go for. Yep, superior firepower it is then. Alright, and let's run speed 4, or maybe even speed 5 for a bit. We'll need some political power early on. So, I think we'll get that once we get the industrial techs. How much political power can we get? Plus 150 from this one, okay. We definitely want to get the German partner. You know, before Germany invades us. That's our best chance to survive. Because otherwise, like I mentioned at the start, we risk being 90% surrounded by the Axis. If Germany takes Poland, then annexes Austria, and Hungary goes fascist, 90% of our border will be the Axis. So that's kind of bad. You can get very early extensive conscription as Czechoslovakia if you go democratic from defensive preparations. You only need 10% war detention to get extensive conscription with this. But I'm not entirely convinced that early extensive conscription would be enough to defend against Germany and the Axis. You would probably have to count on AI being brain dead. That's more or less it. <laughs> if anyone even remotely competent played as Germany, Czechoslovakia wouldn't really stand a chance. Without maybe joining the Comintern, invading Poland and getting a border with the USSR. But going democratic would definitely be the hardest route you would have to go super defensive, and even then it would be hard. In any case, let's run speed 5 for a bit. And also, we need to start exercising, because we are going to need some army experience. I guess we can get a little bit from the focus tree, but there are a lot of things that we need to get from the focus tree, so I'd rather just exercise for a bit. We lost some infantry equipment from exercising, but that's okay. I'm fine with that. Maybe five factories on artillery for now. We can add more later. Alright, carry on then. And we are going to need field hospitals as well. We'll work on that. So there's industrial legacy. And we'll go for Czech industry. Yep, that's more factories. So, works for me. And once we're done with that, we'll start working towards German partner. So, political direction, then go right, Czech fascism. Also, Czech consolidation removes the divided nation modifier, which is minus 0.50 recruitable population as well as minus 20% national unity. But we definitely want to get rid of the recruitable population penalty, that's bad. Especially in our situation. We got zero manpower. And only 140k men in the field. So we definitely need to work on that. We don't even have all the manpower that we require for our standing army. As you can see, 144k out of 126k required. That's not great. Not great at all. Do we want to import some resources? We will use more factories for artillery soon enough, so it's probably a good idea to import some tungsten. Or we can import it a little bit later, once we actually add more factories here. Right now we are only losing 10% from lack of resources. Alright, we got our factories, and next, Czech industry tool. Yep. And basic machine tools. Alright, next up, we can get started on improved machine tools. 
It's still one year early, but that's fine. We definitely need that ASAP for production efficiency cap increase. And we got 150 political power. So what do we want to change first? We could change conscription law to a limited conscription. We probably should, seeing how we have absolutely no manpower to speak of. We can't change civilian economy yet, so that's not an option. Let's get limited conscription. So that gives us 150k manpower. Alright, looks good. And we'll probably start adding some artillery to our divisions soon. In fact, we might as well add one artillery battalion right away. Yep, we'll do that. So, artillery. And we could add recon company. Oh yeah, we don't have enough army experience for that just yet. Okay, that's fine. Just add artillery in that case. Looking good. How's our production now? We are working on it. And how's the construction queue? We'll finish a few civilian factories and then focus entirely on military. How long will this take? Let's have a look. 10th of July 1936. Okay, so two more days. How long will it take to build a new one from scratch? 25th of November. Okay, maybe this is too many civilian factories then. I think this is enough. Let's focus on military factories now. Because we are going to need those. We are going to need a lot. And research. So, concentrated industry. Yep. And we should probably start training some divisions. How many divisions do we have right now? Let's have a look. We got 16 infantry divisions. That might be enough initially. We'll just expand our division template. Definitely need to add more artillery. So might as well just do it right away. Yep. And we'll probably want to add that recon company and field hospital. In fact, I think it's best if we wait for the field hospital. That's going to be super important for us with our manpower limitations. Focus is done. Czech industry free. Yep. All right then. So, 60 days to finish superior firepower. And I think we'll get started on field hospital once that's done. Oh yeah, we can't do it just yet, can we? Not yet, no. Okay. Fair enough. Right, we need the Tatra T-72 first. We'll get started on that then. Yep, we'll get started as soon as we can. We need field hospital before we declare a proper war on anyone. Now, question is... Do we want to invade Poland before Germany does it? Well, maybe. It's something to consider. It's a little bit too early to do that, right? It's a little bit too early to do that right now. In fact, we can't even justify a war goal yet. But once we go fascist and join the Axis, we could try to take some land from Poland. It's something to consider. The only problem is that there are a lot of mountains on our border, so it's not going to be easy to charge across the border. It's the least of our worries right now, though. So, Czech industry free. And now... We'll go for political direction. We also got strategic decisions. And we can actually create our own faction if we want to. I don't think I want to. We'll start working towards German partner now. We definitely want to get rid of the divided nation modifier. To get rid of the 0.50 recruitable population penalty. There's superior firepower. Now we will continue land doctrine. But right now I'd like to get started on the field hospital. 
so Tadshrati Svantito, and then Field Hospital. We can queue up the next land doctrine once we finish one of the industrial techs. That's most likely what we'll do. The Spanish Civil War, alright? Let's see who's going to win this time around. Doesn't make a huge difference for us, really. We'll see. Oh yeah, we got enough political power to change something. So what do we want? We could switch to early mobilization. That's probably what we should do. Work tension just went up to 5%. Yeah, that makes sense. We'll get rid of these penalties. Or at least reduce the penalty. Yep, go for it. That was quite convenient timing right there. Now, I won't be exercising forever because I don't want to sacrifice too much infantry equipment. But we do need a little bit of extra army experience here. How's our support equipment? We got 165 at the moment. I think we should work on it a little bit more. How much do we need to add a support battalion? Not the recon company, but I'd like to check how much we need. We got 16 divisions, we would need 160 total. Okay, so we actually have enough in storage to add one support battalion and not have equipment shortage. Okay. But I will wait for the field hospital. That just makes more sense. Not that I don't want Recon Company, but Recon Company is less important at the moment. The Polish-Romanian alliance, alright? Oh yeah, worth noting that I'm playing without the historical AI focus. It makes the game a bit more interesting and less predictable. That's usually how I play now. So next up, go right. Yep. Go right it is then. And 150 political power again. So let's see. Also, maybe we should boost party popularity somewhere. We could boost it in Romania. They are 19% fascist. That's an interesting idea. It would cost us 0.25 per day. Seeing how we are going fascist ourselves, it might be worth doing. As an alternative, we can just invade them ourselves and take all the oil. That's always an option. Oh yeah, we can't actually boast fascist yet, right, but once we are able to, it's something to consider. And we got improved machine tools. So next up, the next land doctrine in line. Like so. And we should grab someone. I mean, if we want to go fascist, then we should grab a fascist demagogue. Yep, works for me, we'll get that guy. And then... Let's have a look. What are the options here? Non-core manpower, plus 2%. Okay. Might be worth considering. Yeah, that might be worth considering, actually. Concentrated industry is done, nice. So, it is 1937 now, we might as well get the next one in line. Yep, works for me. And how's the focus? We are about halfway done with go right. And how many men in the field do we have? Almost 200k already. And we need 250k for the German partner focus. Just something to remember. How's our artillery production? We still got 400 deficit. But that's okay. We are working on it. 3.84 per day. Okay then. How fast can we get additional research slots? Let's have a look. 
Well, not very fast. We can't get this one unless we go democratic, which we will not be doing. Go right is done. Where are other research slots anyway? Can we get more research slots other than this one? Okay. I need to look around this tree a little bit more. Alright, what's next? Czech fascism is next. Oh yeah, right, we can't do it just yet because we need more than 35% support for fascists. We need to go for something else. How about strategic decisions? That's more political power. And then we can either start our own faction or go for German appeasement. We can also pick up Czechoslovak Legion. We don't really need that one just yet. We can also get army experience and then get some tech boosts. Oh, 75% research bonus for the tech that we are currently researching. Well, I wasn't going to wait for that. What else do we have here? Air experience? No. Alright, let's get Military Technical Institute. Works for me. We got 23 army experience. Keep exercising. And almost 150 political power again. Let's grab the Prince of Terror then. Yep. There you go. And then we'll probably grab a Chief of Army. Plus 10% division attack. Yep, once we get 150 again. So, how's the construction queue going? We are almost done with all the military factories. Nice. Okay, then. Six on artillery and five on infantry equipment. And there's the research. So now we can grab field hospital. And we'll add the field hospital to our division template right away, as soon as this is done. And there's the focus. Now, what can we get next in here? Reduces ahead of time penalty by minus 100% or gives a 50% research bonus if not ahead of time. Okay. We will need infantry techs, so let's go for this one. Better infantry weapons will come in handy. How's our fascist support? 31%. Okay, we are getting there. We can probably go for Czech fascism once we finish infantry advancement. I think we'll have 35% by then. We should. We'll see about that. 7% war tension. How's Spain doing? Is anyone winning? Yep, Nationalist Spain is winning. Looks like Nationalist Spain will win. I guess that's a good thing for us, seeing how we are going fascist. So, good job. Carry on. One more month to finish concentrated industry too. And how's our production going? 1.12 support equipment per day. Yeah, we are going to need more than that if we want to get more than one support battalion. But right now artillery and infantry equipment is the priority. And I think it's time to import some steel. We do have a lot of our own, but we are getting more and more military factories. So I think it's time to import. Let's have a look. Who do we want to import from? I guess we can import from the Soviet Union. Or from Germany. I mean, seeing how we're going fascist, that makes the most sense. Germany it is then. Alright then. Poland seeks Baltic cooperation. Good for them. 
and there's infantry advancement. Are we at 35% yet? Almost. I guess we could just wait for additional 2% before we pick our next focus. It feels like a bit of a waste. What can we research other than this? Artillery advancement. Yes. We should definitely go for that. It would be nice to start interwar artillery first, so then we can use the focus for the next tech in line. We will finish concentrated industry in three days. So there it is. Now we can start interwar artillery and we will pick up artillery advancement. And then we got doctrine discoveries. But it requires all of the prerequisite technologies. United Kingdom exerts influence in Greece. Alright. Good to know. Almost 50 army experience. Do we have any green divisions? No, we do not. They are all regular. Nice. Okay then. And we got 150 political power. Can't change mobilization yet. And we can't change conscription laws. Well, let's grab an advisor then, shall we? Who do we want? Probably... Chief of Army. Plus 10% division attack. Yep, works for me. Welcome aboard. It's already August 1937. Can we actually get German partner in time? I think so, yeah, I guess. We still need more men in the field. But we got 100k manpower in store, so that shouldn't be a big problem. How's our production? We can add more artillery divisions. So let's just do that right away. One more artillery division. And how's the field hospital research? 50 more days. We will be adding that right away, as soon as we finish. It's going to be one of the most important support battalions for us. Land Doctrine is almost done. And there's Artillery Advancement, good. What can we get next? Oh yeah, Czech Fascism, right. Off you go. How's our support now? 36%, okay. Good timing on that. And then we'll go check consolidation. That will remove the 0 0.50 manpower penalty or recruitable population penalty. Mobile defense. Yep. Not training new divisions yet because we need manpower for our existing ones. Although I think we should train one or two new divisions. Let's train two new divisions. Okay. Or maybe three. I don't want to go overboard. But three new divisions seems reasonable enough. That will give us how many again? That would give us 19. I guess we could go with four to have 20 divisions exactly. All right, 20 divisions it is then. And there's Field Hospital, nice. So, before we decide what to research next, let's add the support battalion right away. So, Field Hospital. And save. What next? We could go for either maintenance company or logistics company. That is a possibility. What else? Infantry techs. Yeah, improved infantry equipment. If we don't research this right now, we can use our bonus for actual weapons. So let's grab support weapons one and then we'll get improved infantry equipment Although, wait, hold on. 
that doesn't make any sense. This is the same exact bonus. It just gives us a 50% bonus if it's not ahead of time, and it removes ahead of time penalty. If it is ahead of time. Okay, what else can we grab? What about industrial techs? Construction tow, yep. Let's grab that one. Works for me. 40 army experience. And we got 50,000 manpower right now. Okay. 200 men in the field. We have just about enough. Once we are done training, we'll have 252k. Which is what we need to get German partner. We need 250k manpower in the field. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria, alright. And Japan declared war on China. Interesting. There's Czech fascism. Oh, hold on, pause. Japan declared war on Zhangzi. Poland declared war on Lithuania, really? Okay. That was slightly unexpected. But hey, that's why I play with historical focuses on. Fun things can happen that otherwise wouldn't. Hungary secures Romanian support for rearmament. Lodge a diplomatic protest. Follow the Romanian lead. Okay then. Without consulting us, the Romanian government has signed a treaty with Hungary, altering or removing the restrictions of the Treaty of Trianon. Hungary is now allowed to rearm freely and develop all manners of military equipment, including tanks and planes. While it has been an open secret that Hungary has been expanding its army, this new agreement will soon bring them to the point where they could be a military threat to us once again. Right, let's follow the Romanian lead, perhaps. I don't want a penalty with Hungary right now. Alright, works for me. And the next focus. That would be Czech consolidation. So that will replace divided nation with Czech fascism. Wait, no, we can't do that yet. We need 60% support. And how much do we have right now? 38. Okay, that's not nearly enough then. We'll have to work on something else in that case. What would that be? Good question. Let's have a look around. Arms exports. Production efficiency growth. Wait, gains national spirit limited export focus. Right. Fortification studies. I don't think we really need that. I mean, considering how we plan to go fascist, and that is what we're doing. Armor advancement? No. Mountain troops? That might be useful. And it's also required for support units. And it's then required for doctrine discoveries. So that probably makes sense. Work on that. Gains national spirit, war college, which grants planning speed plus 10%, military leader cost minus 50%, starting level of new army leaders plus one. Gain one research slot. Oh, we need that. So it requires all of the following. We need everything in here. Okay, we'll work on that then. We need that research slot. However, I think that's a good moment to make a cut. I'm going to continue in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.